How's it going, you guys? Today we're going to be going over the BitLife update that came out not too long ago, and this is the investment update. So, to start off, we're going to start a life off, and I'm just going to start you guys off with a little hack that I found out. If you pick your country as Monaco, and then go down to place and put Monte Carlo, Put your royal status at the highest one. This one's called count. This is supposedly supposed to give you the most amount of money um, from your royal life, which I have seen to be true as I've done it. Um, and that's comparison to like the U United Kingdom. It's way more. So here we go. We're going to start Thomas's life in Monte Carlo. And we're going to go just age up. You know, just age up. Ear infection. You can see our money already increasing dramatically. So for this update, we're not going to be able to start actually investing here until the age of 14. So here we're 13 years old. We can look down. It's right below finances, investments, and it's all gray. Increase our age once more. Elon should stay. Why not? Um, and now investments is open. So this is what it looks like when you get into the investment section. Three tools on top and the investment types down below. Tools, we have financial advisor. Here we have Elias, He's 62 years old, has 41 years of experience and takes 16% of your profits. And that's pretty low. The highest you'll see is around 20, 25. Lowest you'll see is around 10. And then below this, you have famous clients and his reputation, of course. So we're not going to hire him just yet. Not good enough for me. But that's what you'll see in the financial advisor. And it's very good. They'll help you uh, invest your money. The only downside is they will not be selling them for you. So you have to keep up with it. You have to look at what's profiting right now and sell when it's high. And then reinvest. So then here we have financial news. This is a really cool section. It gives you a little news article. This one's called the Monte Carlo Daily Star. Just gives you a little insight about how the stock market's doing, what which stocks and investments to look out for. Opinion here. This is very uh very good stuff here. You can ask people for their opinion. Here we have mother or father. If you do have a financial advisor, you can ask them for advice too, which they also give extremely good advice on what to invest in. She has no clue. All right. Thanks, Ma. Um, so now going down to investment types, we have bonds. If we pick, go down here, you'll have corporate bonds. They are usually higher risk, but they give you a higher percentage yield coupon. So here we have, see the risk bar is completely full, but you get 31.5% of your money back every year. When you go down to something a little bit less, like, so here the lowest is 4.6, basically no risk. So we'll, we'll throw some 5 million on that in seven years. So every year we'll get 4.6%. And then at the end of it, we'll get all that money we got from the percentages every year as well as your money back the thing with bonds you have to worry about though is that if they fault then you are completely out of your investment and you make no money and you know there's no dictating whether they will or won't you can't get out early so it is a pretty big risk cryptocurrencies this one these ones i have a lot of fun with they are easy money um if you get lucky so 
like let's click on Zitcoin. Sell them for fourteen thousand. Not doing too hot. This one's going deep coins going up a bit. And these this green bar here, that's the trendiness of it. So when you think about crypto, you think about oh it's blowing up on Twitter. And that's kind of what it's relating to in my from what I'm getting from it. And so from my understanding, I just I just go around, look through all of them, and I pick out the one that is the cheapest. And just invest a ton into it. Because, especially if you do become a Monaco, you know, count, you're going to have money to spend anyway. So, I'm going to go down to Blocky. I'm 33 bucks. I'm not going to put all my money into it, but I'll put 50 mil in, 60 mil. Let's see how it goes. Down to funds. These ones I do not like as much. They're really iffy. Um, there's really no telling how they're going to do. They tell you their yearly returns, but it really is not accurate. So I'll just pick a random one. Buy into this fund. The only thing those are good for is your financial advisor will um, invest in them for you when you give them money. Penny stocks, I mean, these are quick bucks, too. You can usually only buy one, buy them one time max until they start just filling orders for what they have. You, you really can't make too, too much money off these, and you'll see why here in a second. So I'll buy this Monte Carlo Health Hospital, Veterinary Hospital. Place order. Go back. And most of the times when you try to place this order, order, it will not fill it, which means it will not go through. They will not give you all of the shares you wanted to buy. As you see here, we are only able to give me 30, 31,000. But yeah, those are pretty good, but you just can't make too, too much money on them. Especially when you're looking at millions of dollars, it's really not able to. Stock market is huge. They have the communication sec sector, c consumer sector, energy sector, financial sector, healthcare sector, industrial sector, material sector, technology sector. And there's really no uh, telling how they're going to go, which one's going to go up, which one's going to go down. You really just have to guess. Um, the communication sector has always been good investments for me. Again, I'll usually just pick the lowest. And just, it's just, it's really a guess. So nobody really knows. Just like real life, honestly. But there's not really a lot of information to work with here. And that's the only criticism I would have for this. There's not really too much to look for. You can see the five-year performance. But there's no, other than the news article, you can just ask for opinions. And it's, it's kind of tough to play out the stocks. So once you have invested, you can look at your portfolio. These are all the investments I had just made for you, for uh, for us here today. And then we're just gonna age up and see how Thomas did with his investments. So as you can see here, my one year return was ten point five percent for around nine million profit. $9 million in return. Um, Monte Carlo Veterinary Health Hospital H Hospital was the biggest performing asset, which was our penny stock. So if I could have, you know, invested more, I would have made way more money. Go with them, sure. Anyways, we come down here. So when we made a lot of money off, where'd it go? This one here, 87% total return. You're not going to get much better with that for a penny stock. I mean, you can, obviously, but, I mean, you should not be fighting over 87%. It's a very good profit. Take it. And that's how you sell an investment. Um, 
we can look at uh, like what our crypto did here so we actually total return of 18 percent for 10 million dollars that is pretty good i'm just gonna let it ride it's not too much money so you just hope one of those blows up and for cryptos they will increase by like 500 percent one year and then they'll do it again and then they'll do it 400 percent and then they'll just drop dramatically and that's kind of the trend i've been seeing with them so definitely look out for that last piece i want to do here for you is show you the financial advisor in effect i'll just hire the first one ask him to invest for you oh went a little quick here but these are the investments he'll make for you um as you can see here total investment of 140 million and he filled all of these investments and you usually see pretty good return with your financial advisor not too often you see a decrease and here we see a decrease but you know that's pretty much the update um one out of ten i'd give it a six I wouldn't say it's the best update, especially for the five bucks I believe it is to obtain it. Uh, as many of you probably are, I was a buyer of the business update package and was very shocked to see that it didn't come in that. But for five bucks, it's fun. I've had a lot of fun with it. Probably like a six out of ten, like I said. You know, it's it gets old after a while, really. There's not too much to do. It looks like there is, but, you know, there's different ways to make your money. And you can make a ton of money with it. So, it's really up to you guys to decide how good it is. But here's all the, all the features you'll see in this update. Thank you guys for watching.